Hi, Angela Lewis um, for the Sacred Inclusion Network, um, talking to people in the Sacred Inclusion Network. And today we're very excited because we're going to we're, we're inaugurating a feature that's called Give Ask, in which we briefly profile one of our members, get him to say um, what he would like to ask the community for, and then something he would like to offer the community. And uh, we'll do that. And I, could, I can't think of a, a better inaugural uh, guest than uh, Mr. Ban Bander Al-Qadiri, all the way from Saudi Arabia. And I'll say a little bit about, about the context in which I met Bander. Uh, him and I were both fans of Frederick Dotson, who was um, sort of under the ra radar, at least in the United States, um, I'll call him um, personal growth person or something. He has a website that's called, what is it called? Realitycreation.org Reality or something. Yeah. Anyway, I sponsored a workshop for him in the Princeton area and Bander came. Much to my surprise, um, there's only about four Native Americans, I mean, American, U.S. born people there. At least four Saudis were there, as I remember. Um, and it was, it was very, uh, very interesting international mix. And that's where I met Bander. One little thing, a little little antidote, um, I'll, I'll, I'll say, um, at one point in a break, Bander didn't remember this when I mentioned it to him. Um, we're in a break and we're just coming back and a bunch of us were sitting kind of like in a horseshoe. And Frederick Dotson is at the, at the beginning. And he goes, now, how, how, how many would buy stock on some of these people? And he stopped at, Brandon's, at Bander's name. He said, I would definitely buy stock in him. He's ambitious. He's going places, this, that, and the other thing, you know? So I reminded him of that. And, um, you know, I, thought, I, I, I could easily see that that was the case. Now, I know a little bit about his story, um, but um, I'm going to just ask him to tell you a little bit about it. Bander, would you introduce yourself, please, please to the people? Uh, thank you, Anjali. Uh, I appreciate being here. Thank you for having me. Quite an honor, actually, to be your first gift in this beautiful platform. Uh, so as you mentioned, I'm from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Um, I uh, went to school in the United States for about probably 17 years, in which I did uh, nuclear engineering in my undergrad. And then I did the master's in radiation health physics. That was in Oregon State. And then I went to Texas A&M in the college station. Um, I did another master in thermohydraulics and power. And then I kind of transitioned from that to a PhD in, uh, in, in nuclear engineering as well, but it mo was more specific into temperature distribution in uh, uh, reactor core. Uh, is that along this journey, I've been always interested. I, I, I always joke about saying this. Uh, I'm a nuclear engineer by profession, but um, inquisitive soul uh, by passion. So my passion has been always human development and human potentials and how can I, you know, re reach my utmost potential and kind of help people along the way with me. Um, and I love, uh, uh, asking a lot of deep questions about the, the purpose of our existence and what is it we can do so we can live more uh, a fulfilling life. And nuclear engineering was naturally fulfilling to me. So After all um, that study. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took me a long time to kind of figure that out. Well, I kind of knew, I, I always have the I do want to call it like a nagging voice back in my head, but I, I would say like an authentic voice that is always telling me that, you know, this is not your path. You know, you are not enjoying this, yet you're doing it. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> you're probably following someone else's dream. You want to be uh, a PhD in engineering because probably your father uh, told you so one day when you were growing up, or you probably want to prove yourself that you can do it, and but but I I kind of kept these uh, questions, and I kept kind of ignoring the questions, and I kind of know the answer, but I didn't have the courage to kind of you know abandon everything and go hundred percent toward my life passion. Uh, 
but then uh, I, I don't know if that uh, is that a long introduction. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I, 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 I can kind of bring it up today because I remember when we talked last year, as you reminded me, um, you were yeah. you're a little bit at a crossroads because they've been offered this fabulous job. And thank, thankfully, because of the pandemic, you didn't have to make a decision right away. And apparently exactly. you made the decision to turn away from that and to, to embrace your, your, uh, your passion, uh, which, mean, is, uh, which is coaching, basically. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean it, it's, really, uh, it's really interesting. You know, universe works in mysterious ways. I mean, I know at some point, I, I used to tell my friends that I'm not going to be a nuclear engineer for life. I'm going to be working in nuclear engineering for maybe five, 10 years to kind of just pay for you know, my schooling and everything. And also I want to contribute to the, to my country and, you know, they provided me with a scholarship for a long time. And, and, and working in nuclear engineering is, has actually a good purpose. Um, I have a purpose in it. There is a purpose for it, uh, for me. And, and I have a purpose. Uh, I feel like it has a purpose in me as well. Uh, uh, you know, providing power, kind of powering the world and helping illuminating the planet earth is, is something I enjoy doing and I want to take part of. Uh, and, and also uh, kind of uh, my studies were toward nuclear power. So providing uh, electricity and power. And initially I want to go to medical physics because I kind of felt that I, I, I like helping people and I didn't know how to help people. I thought maybe going the medical route, but then I figured, no, maybe Maybe going to the hospitals every day is too depressing for me. Uh, I want to go the, the power, you know, uh, kind of route. Uh, but it, it's not my calling. It's, I'm not good at it. Like I feel, I didn't feel, I don't feel like in the zone. Like the players will tell you, I'm, I feel in the zone. Um, I, I wasn't enjoying it. I, I, I see the purpose, uh, but I don't wake up in the morning happy and energized and depressed and, and and I know that at some point I'm gonna step out of this but I'm kind of delaying it and, and, I, and I felt like you know what I spent like probably 18 years studying this so I might as well spend another 10 years working there is no reason for me working nuclear engineering to continue working uh, other than just me spent enough time in schooling so it wasn't justifiable for me to just walk away from all of that and, but then I, I, I um, finished my schooling everything um, went back to Saudi and I was supposed I actually I made an online interview in Zoom uh, when I was in the US and they kind of offered me the job they just didn't give me the details and they were excited to have me and everything and in the same day uh, we were supposed to go and kind of sign the contract uh, I got up in the morning and uh, dressed up everything with the uh, traditional uniform, the hat and the, you know, the thobe, the dress or whatever. I got up in the car and I, I drove there and th the road seems slow. I mean, it, it seems like uh, no, nobody in the street. And it was like, oh, what's happening? And as soon as I got there, uh, they were telling me, uh, the, the, uh, whoever was supposed to meet me didn't come. And I, I checked my phone and they were sending me an emails. Uh, they actually sent me an emails, I believe an hour before I left, but I was too excited to go. So I didn't check my emails. And they were telling me, uh, sorry, we have to inform you. We canceled this interview because we are in a lockdown right now. So the whole country went into a lockdown. And uh, I was like, well, this is maybe a sign. I mean, what, it's, what is it of, uh, uh, like more more clear of a sign than this, uh, I I probably need to stop and figure out my life purpose. <laughs> and so uh, we went in a lockdown for about four months. And during these four months, I had a lot of time to kind of reflect and you know reevaluate and uh, kind of redirect myself and uh, and. I did a lot of, you know, uh, soul searching and kind of decided, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to cheat on myself anymore. So I went back to all the books and all the um, kind of the materials that I always, always been procrastinating and kind of postponing. Uh, I have a lot of books to read and stuff. So I decided, okay, I'm going to come out of this lockdown uh, with an intention and a plan uh, to be in a human development. And I'm going to, still wasn't sure what, uh, what my area exactly going to be like what my niche 
Uh, but but I know it's gonna be something around like coaching or you know helping people uh, help themselves reach you know uh, a deeper level of um, consciousness or whatever. And so uh, I did all all like my studies and and then uh, kind of like a few weeks after that I received an email from Chobra who by the way I used to follow for a long time offering this unique new program in which you can enroll in uh, Chopra health uh, certification in which they will teach you about Arveda. And Arveda literally translated uh, into English as uh, the science of life. And uh, a, med a Chopra meditation certification uh, in which they will teach uh, primordial sound meditation or a primal sound meditation. It's kind of Chopra technique. Uh, it's kind of a unique program that they're teaching. And for the first time, they're offering a coaching program. And then once you have, when you have, oh, when you have all these cert three certifications, uh, you will be uh, then called a uh, uh, total well-being uh, Chopra coach. And it was like, okay, well, it's it's, Synchronicity is working. I mean, the universe is is, is probably conspiring in, in, in my behalf. <laughs> wow. And so that's quite a story. Um, uh, you know, it's yeah. true. It's it's like it's like it's almost like night and day. You know, you, yeah. you spent 18 years moving towards this particular goal. All of a sudden, it's almost like spirit said, No, Vander, we don't want you to do that. Exactly. You know, I mean actually the whole world in the down. damn car, in the car. Yeah. Looked at your emails, um, we had to cancel. Uh, um, that's a showstopper. And you said, well, you, could, you couldn't ignore it. The sign was like, it was like right in front of you. You could not ignore it. Uh, loud and clear. I was actually blown up. It was like, man, uh, I guess it's, this is the sign. This is it. <laughs> All right, so let, let, let's segue. You have, you have a community. It's a relatively small community, maybe 300 people or something. And, yeah. um, you know, um, our format is, what would you like to give this community? What would you like, what would you like to offer them? Uh, well, I guess beside my presence and love and support, <laughs> uh, I guess as uh, as uh, what I'm doing right now is working in these certifications. Uh, I guess as 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 a health uh, uh, Chobra health teacher, I kind of provide uh, tips and tools and kind of background about Ayurveda, Ayurvedic lifestyle, uh, the six uh, pillars of health, according to according to Deepak Chobra. Uh, I can provide instruction about meditation. Uh, introduce the concept of uh, primordial sound meditation. And, and, and actually this is part of my uh, requirements that they actually require teaching 10 hours. I have to log 10 hours uh, for them to give me the certification. So I, I'm, I, I haven't got the, uh, the certification yet because I haven't finished all my hours. So uh, uh, it will be actually an opportunity for me to kind of practice teaching if anyone is interested in Ayurveda and Ayurvedic tools and philosophy, it's, it's an ancient, Indian uh, philosophy that goes back to more than 5,000 years. Uh, I provide tools uh, for or, uh, kind of integrating the, the mind, body, and spirit in, in one unit. And uh, it, it kind of it provides a lot of, uh, uh, I would say like uh, healthy tools and, and perspectives and how to uh, you know, tap into our uh, uh, inherent wisdom that, that we all have. Uh, meditation, uh, we're probably all quite familiar with meditation, but uh, the, the kind of the, uh, the Chobra signature in meditation is uh, uh, we, we meditate using the sound of the universe. And those sounds uh, can be personalized. Everyone has their own sound. Uh, or the, the sound that the universe was making during the time when they were born. So you get some birth information and the location where they birth and tell you, okay, well, this is your... Uh, so uh, just, to be, your... just to be clear, um, you would offer like a session um, in, um, 
in some var variant of total wealth, uh, th wealth, total health coaching. Total, total health, could, yeah. Could be, could be meditation, it could be health, health oriented, uh, whatever yes. people want it, want it. And um, yes. you know they could they could contact you directly through the network, and I'll 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 have your email address Definitely. somewhere, and I'll I'll uh, you know provide that. Um, yeah. yeah, and and also I'm looking for clients for coaching as well. Right. Okay. Uh, and and that will be kind of one in one uh, sessions uh, with with the clients, forty five minutes each, uh, up to eight weeks, or maybe every other week but uh, so, like probably like uh, from eight to to nine sessions or something so it like could that. be like a single session or a series of um, of sessions that you would offer of sessions yes good yes. good yeah we'll we'll put that out and um hopefully um people i'm gonna like to give a deadline because um people respond uh, if you want to do this do it in two weeks within two weeks so this is the um 24th so you have until about the 7th or 6th of december to take bander and his gen generous offer now let's turn this around a little bit. Now you're um, to some extent um, reestablishing yourself. Um, so uh, we have a lot of um, people that have a lot of expertise in various various ways uh, in our network. What would you like to ask? What would you like to ask from them other than to take you up on your offer, obviously? Uh, I guess to provide me a space to be myself and uh, express my uniqueness. Everybody is unique in their own ways. Uh, a safe space for me to practice. Uh, uh, a supporting, loving community. Uh, because I, I, I haven't been really a member of a community in that sense. I mean, I've been like member of like illuminized communities or people that kind of like business oriented that they're not necessarily uh, uh, like, like uh, American nuclear society or right. uh, that in my profession, but necessarily in my passion. So I, I mean, I, I feel this platform is something uh, can help me and support me along the path in which I, I choose to follow. So uh, not necessarily something specific, but I would say like in general terms, a safe space, um, supporting environment, uh, warm smile. I mean, well, you, you that, Angela, is that's a good very easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, um, uh, so I, I'm going to kind of make make this explicit. So, um, Bander is also available to talk to your talk to your 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 groups um, about any of these things. About uh, if in case you didn't know who Chopra is, by the way, it's Deepak Chopra. The famous um, Indian um, wellness guru, I'll call him, who many of us has followed for many years. Um, Bander's been studying in intensively with him and his group. And um, he could, if you have like a group that you would like him to talk to, um, introduce some of these concepts about Ar Ar Ayurveda, he's, um, he's, um, he's asking you, he's, he's willing to give that to you. And to, to just sort of up the stakes a little bit, I guess not really upping the stakes, we have these community nights. Now, I don't know what time it is in Saudi Arabia, but it, and maybe we can make a special time. Uh, eight, on eight, at 8 p.m., we, we, we have these member-led um, events, I'll call them. And um, I could see how your prim primordial sound thing could fit right in as a particular event. Um, and I, I will, um, you know, I'll, I'll contact you offline and we'll figure out the timing and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, Thank you for, 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 for participating. I'm going to post this right away. And um, hopefully those of you that are listening, please get back to Bander directly or contact me. And we'll see if we can take this further, um, help this young man um, grow, and um, he can help us grow. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Angelo. And happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful to you and your beautiful community. Well, we're happy, happy to have you, Bander. Take care. Thank you very much. appreciate it. Bye.